This course is designed to help you understand the rules about sports betting so you can navigate your path to playing college sports. We at the NCAA are committed to protecting your well-being and are proud to be part of your journey. Let's get started. Sports wagering has become increasingly popular globally in recent years with relevant laws and regulations shifting and sports wagering sites becoming available around the clock on mobile devices. The United States has seen significant legislative and regulatory changes since the Supreme Court removed the federal prohibition on sports wagering in May 2018, allowing each individual state to permit and regulate sports wagering on its own for the first time. NCAA competitions attract significant sports wagering interest in the United States and around the globe. The two most popular sports are Division I men's basketball and football, where the average game is offered to the wagering public by upwards of 150 different bookmakers around the world, including bookmakers in Europe, Asia, Australia, and the Caribbean. In particular, the Division I men's basketball tournament is an immensely popular global betting event garnering more than $3.5 billion in estimated wagers at sportsbooks around the world. While less popular both among bettors, other Division I men's sports, such as ice hockey, baseball, volleyball, soccer, and lacrosse, see at least portions of their seasons consistently offered for betting. And as the most popular women's sport, Division I women's basketball games are offered by an average of more than 30 different bookmakers worldwide. Even certain prominent Division II and III competitions, including the Division II and III men's basketball and football championship games, and the final rounds of the Division III men's volleyball tournament, see regular betting exposure. Overall, the global bookmaker coverage for NCAA competitions will only continue to grow, particularly as legalized sports wagering expands further across the United States. To create a fair environment for all college athletes, the NCAA does not allow student athletes, coaches, administrators, or officials to bet on college sports. Let's take a closer look at activities that may or may not be permissible per NCAA rules through this self-assessment. Please read or listen to the following statements and guess whether the statement is considered a sport wagering activity. Let's get started. If you are approached by a family member, friend, or somebody from the public asking you for team information like injury status or a depth chart, is it okay to share? No, unfortunately, you may not know this person's intent for seeking this insider information. If approached, please inform your coach and compliance staff for assistance. Sports wagering is acceptable as long as you wager on a sport other than the one in which you participate. No, NCAA rules prohibit student athletes, coaches, or administrators from engaging in sport wagering activities of any kind. Sports wagering is harmless and does not impact your collegiate eligibility. No, sports wagering may greatly impact your collegiate eligibility and may be a negative and destructive influence in your life. You can bet money on fantasy sports or games when the entry fees are less than $1. No, putting something at risk to win something in return on a pro, college, or amateur sporting event is a sports wagering violation that risks your eligibility. You may join an online fantasy sports team and bet money only if your bets are among friends or family. No, NCAA rules prohibit this. Sports wagering of any kind, even if only with family or friends, may greatly impact your collegiate eligibility. You can purchase a $10 square to participate in a Super Bowl pool with the chance to win up to $1,000. No. This is sports wagering and engaging in this activity would impact your collegiate eligibility. Does entering a March Madness bracket challenge by paying a $5 entry fee with the opportunity to win $5,000 impact a student athlete's collegiate eligibility? Yes. If you put something at risk, such as an entry fee, for an opportunity to win something in return, 
you violate NCAA sports wagering bylaws. Every year you participate as an NCAA student athlete, you are required to sign off that you have knowledge of and understand NCAA rules related to involvement in sports wagering activities. Yes. NCAA rules require all student-athletes to annually sign a document known as the NCAA Student-Athlete Statement. Great job assessing your NCAA knowledge on sports wagering rules. Remember, if you don't know if something is considered a sports wagering activity, ask your coach or an athletics administrator for help. If you need help or have additional questions about sports wagering, NCAA Legislative Customer Service at 317 917-6008 or the 24-hour Confidential National Gambling Helpline can offer you support. Know the rules and always ask if you are unsure if something will impact your collegiate eligibility. We have these rules in place because we share your commitment to fair, high-level competition and want to see you succeed in college and also in life. We're proud to be part of your journey.